the crypto world. Wait a minute, let's start that again. The unforgiving crypto world. Yeah, that's better. Hi guys, I'm Chris from Chain Pals, and today we're going to be covering the top five crypto scams that have seen some crypto exchange owners go as far as faking their own death, while the simple users like you and I lose out on tens of thousands of our hard-earned crypto assets. So, without further ado, I think we should start by jumping straight in at number five. At number five, we have Pincoin and IFAN. In 2018, these Vietnamese projects jointly scammed $660 million from their investors using persuasive sales events and clever marketing. The modern tech company launched an ICO for its Pincoin token, raising $660 million from approximately 32,000 people. The company first ran the Pincoin ICO, promising constant returns to investors, and then launched another token, IFAN, a social network token for celebrities. Pincoin investors first received cash from their investment, and then the team began paying out rewards to Pincoin investors in IFAN tokens. Until one day, they just disappeared. The team of seven Vietnamese nationals seemed to have left the country while scammed investors massed outside the company's old headquarters. At number four, we have Quadriga. Now, this is a crypto scam so famous, it's even recently got its own Netflix documentary, which I highly recommend watching. This crypto exchange was founded in 2013, when Bitcoin's value was around the $100 mark. That is until 2017, when Bitcoin started to crash and the founder decided to possibly fake his own death. Quadriga was initially Canada's leading and trusted crypto exchange, only to be found to have been running fraudulently from the start as its founders were experienced at running other scams. The founder was the only one with access to the private keys, holding 250 million Canadian dollars of its users' crypto when he suspiciously died. Except that most people don't believe he died, and some are still calling for his body to be exhumed to have some proof. On the number three spot, we have the BitClub Network. From 2014 to 2019, BitClub Network was anything but honest. In fact, this was when the largest known crypto mining scam happened. Essentially just one big Ponzi scheme that used fantastic marketing and Wolf of Wall Street-like salesmen to bring in $722 million. The BitClub Network assured and promised its members that it had Bitcoin mining equipment and would send guaranteed profits. Little did the investors know, the videos and photos of their setup actually belonged to another mining firm. Holding down a Ponzi scheme for five years though, it's kind of impressive. Coming in at number two, we have BitConnect. In 2016, BitConnect was unveiled and soon became one of the most brazen and famous crypto scams of all time. They scammed an estimated $4 billion from their investors with the promise of having an unbeatable trading algorithm, which perhaps never even existed. However, they didn't stop there. Before BitConnect started to crash, they quickly started a second in the name of BitConnect X. Now, taking the top spot of crypto scams has to be OneCoin. After assumably being shut down in 2017 by authorities, with its leaders being arrested and founder disappearing or possibly dead, this scam came to light from a BBC podcast series by the Crypto Queen and was known to be nothing more than a giant Ponzi scheme, making off with an estimated, ready for it, $25 billion. Surprisingly though, it seems the OneCoin hoax is possibly still active, even though they never had a cryptocurrency and all the tech was fake. Well, there we have it. Five of the top crypto scams to have ever happened. The truth is guys, the crypto space is a highly dangerous and unsafe place. Yes, it can make you millions, but it can also easily wipe it away quickly with one seemingly trustworthy crypto company. And that's essentially why ChainPals was created in order to send immediate payments across the world 
while still having control over your transfer until you're happy to make the final release of funds. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as we'll be uploading videos every week. So once again, be careful and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.